Uh, Holyfield is uh, a board that we've kind of got out back, so to speak. We haven't talked about him a lot, uh, certainly haven't publicized him. Uh, Holyfield is out of um, H385, uh, which is a Hampshire board here at the farm. Uh, and Holyfield's mother is a clone of Carol. And uh, I can tell you that we've done a lot of cloning over the last uh, several years. And uh, the clone of Carol uh, is probably as close of a phenotypic match uh, as we've ever had. Uh, she's impressive, uh, visually very, very impressive. Uh, visually looks um, a lot like uh, Carol herself. And uh, this, this boar pig out of her uh, is pretty unique looking. Uh, he's different. Uh, we, we don't have anything else around here like him. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't really seen anything like him in my travels of late. And uh, we, we used him in a couple key spots here to figure out uh, how he was gonna generate and just where we could use him. Uh, the mother of these two 17s is a backdrop, King of the Hill. Uh, she is extra bulky, extra stout, very moderate. Uh, she's burly, uh, very, very burly, very stout. Uh, Holyfield himself is, uh, he's just got a very distinct um, look up front. Uh, had extra big legs, uh, but again, he was just different looking. I don't know, Boots will, I'm sure Boots will have something else to say about him, but uh, these pigs are intriguing to me. Uh, they, they're obviously different looking than the, than the then and nows, and uh, we've been looking at those litter after litter, and uh, these have got a different look. Really exciting stuff here. Um, you know, um, it kind of looks like the way this one resulted, you just took a hodgepodge of five or six different stuff and put them all together on, on one package. Um, and not usually often does all that blend and tie together the way this one does because um, her pieces are extreme. Um, you know, they're not very common to kind of get all together. Uh, you can start with that thing sticks her head up in the air. Um, she's got a beautiful skull on top of a neck that's three miles long. Um, and on top of that, she opens up incredibly wide and square and true in terms of her chest and her knee and her front foot. Um, and then from the side, I mean, she is short bodied. Um, and for one, that high tying to have that kind of comfort level out of both ends of her body um, is incredibly hard to do. Um, she's long hipped, has an incredible type of rear leg bend and design and flex and go there. And on top of that, um, she's got bone, she's got hair, she's got awesome color um, with a really, really unique twist in terms of pedigree here. Um, you know, this one looks fun. She looks like she'll be ready early and often. And then as a big one, um, hold on, because this one's extras um, are very, very hard to ignore. And again, you start talking about, um, you know, what their value is, um, you know, post show life. Um, you know, again, just a little different twist in terms of bloodlines here. Um, I think I, th I think all the value in the world is going to be on on her side. Um, again, so many wild parts and pieces put together on one animal. Um, this one's awfully, awfully special in my opinion here in this 217 litter guilt.